Well, that was a lot of fun. Hey, all you Minnesota skinnies, this is Conman 101, and I am back from Twins Fest, and I also feel like I'm changing my setup every other video. It's like 6 o'clock, which means that my other uh, spot doesn't have enough lighting for you to really see my face as well as this lighting. It still has really crappy right lighting, and I apologize for that. But this isn't going to be the majority of the video. The majority of the video is going to be showing you guys the uh, actual highlights from Twins Fest. I forgot to announce what I was doing while I was there, which means I have to kind of give you a recap with like kind of short chunks in between those videos because I never announced them. So first, I got up at like 7 a.m. because I always wanted to get there early to, uh, you know, get something signed because it's always better to wait a longer time beforehand so that way you can get out of there earlier. So I got up early and then I headed to Twins Fest after eating a quick breakfast. Eddie Rosario, first off, was one of my favorite uh, players last year, um, behind Dozier, who I already got. And then Michael Kodair, who I never got a chance to, you know, get signed while well, he was a twin. But he moved to uh, another team, and I, uh, I never really got his signature. And now he's back after retiring, and he's coaching, or like doing some special help for the twins. So he's coming back for Twins Fest, and I got his signature, and I'm really excited about that. So check that out. Long, long time ago. Good luck, right? Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Whatever. It was fine. Pretty easy. So I got a few more uh, signatures on my baseball. I'll just uh, open this up quick so you guys can see it. Okay, so you'll notice that the uh, the top one here is Michael Kadire, and then let me just find the other one. And then the top one here is Eddie Rosario. If you uh, also got Eddie Rosario's signature, you can kind of judge to make sure that it's authentic. I, I obviously know it is, but uh, but just to uh, you know clarify that. So next I uh, stopped by the uh, SPN 1500 booth. They're always there during Twins Fest and they have their uh, Sunday sports talks. I think it's just around the Midwest, but you might be able to access it in other places, I'm not sure. But they were interviewing Joe Maurer, who, as you guys know, is probably my favorite uh, Twins player of the, uh, the current era. And so I got to uh, see him uh, get interviewed, which was a lot of fun and, uh, so you can check that out. You just missed him with the Twins. His last year with the Twins was 03. You came in in 04. You're now heading into your 14th season. I mean, man, that's it, time flies, doesn't it? It really does. Um, yeah, it's crazy. You know, looking at Latroy, it looks like he can pitch this year for us. You know, he's an uh, unbelievable career, and um, yeah, I had the chance to, to go to a couple big league camps with him and uh, to watch him do what he's done all this time. It's been really impressive. Now, you're heading into your 14th year. Uh, you're so next, I went to probably my favorite part of the uh, of the thing. So it was a lip sync battle, and they have these games at the uh, Fox Sports North stage in the uh, Legends Club, uh, and it was like so funny. I was laughing so hard. So first there was uh, Ryan O'Rourke, and he uh, and he did this. I don't know, I'll just let you guys watch it. I can't really explain it. <laughs>
And then I uh, watched Trevor May, who was even funnier. He did a, uh, a, a special ribbon rendition of uh, uh, Paint with All the Colors of the Wind from uh, Pocahontas. Oh man, that was so funny. But I can't even explain that one either, just, just watch. Oh, but still I can't see if the savage one is me. Can there be so much that kills your So next, uh, another thing I was really excited about, I uh, went to the collector show and I didn't get clips of me going through that, although it would be uh, pretty cool if I would, be, would have been able to get a, a time lapse of going through all the booths because there were just so many booths. They're like, there are so much, there's so much memorabilia. I wish I could have gotten more, but it was just so fun to go through and see all of them and, and they all had really good prices too. You can get some really good bar bargains there. So I got a bobblehead that, uh, I'm going to be doing a review on, which I'm really excited about. I haven't done a bobblehead review in a really long time, so I was really looking forward to that. So uh, stay tuned for a bobblehead review coming up soon. So next, uh, another exciting thing, I went to get a uh, signature from Miguel Sano, who again is one of my favorite uh, Twins players in the Common Era. Uh, he's just a big slugger. He had, he had a lot of issues with strikeouts last year, but uh, he's a big slugger. He hit it way I was at the uh twins game uh, one day that was the game they won like 17 to 5 and he I was in the top deck the, the third deck and he hit it over my head I almost caught it but I didn't and uh so he's probably one of my favorite uh home run hitters of the era and so I was really excited to uh to get a uh ball signed from him so take a look at that so as you can see here uh his signature is right under the uh, Michael Kadair one, and you can kind of see here that it's uh, number 22. Uh, and so, number 22, he it was really cool because he actually uh, pointed out that I was wearing the, the shirt, his shirt. So then I uh, finished off the day by going to see some A Minute to Win It, uh, and it was Eddie Rosario, and was it O'Rourke again? I think so anyway. Uh, and they were doing some, no, it was Trevor May. It was Trevor May and Eddie Rosario. I'm, I'm not sure. To, if, when you watch the clip, you'll see. But it was a minute to win it, and they were, like, balancing bats and, like, flipping cards. I'm not sure if I got that or not. And they were, like, hitting balloons up in the air. It was all really fun. And after that, I went to see some uh, fan feud, which is, like, family feud, but, like, twins version. And there were two twins players. I think that one was... Gosh, what was that one? It was a pitcher I've never heard of, and then it was also uh, O'Rourke. Uh, so that was really fun to see. And there was this uh, this little kid, and you'll see a little clip of her. The, the funniest part you guys totally missed. So she was like, it was like a four-year-old girl. It was so cute. She walked up to the, the stage, and she, was, and she wasn't totally clear that she had to hit the buzzer to answer a question. So the question was, name a vegetable that is commonly like chopped into soup and then as soon as he hit the buzzer she just screamed out carrots it was just the most adorable thing and i got i got like right after that but i didn't actually get to film that part so uh you can see a few uh shots of that really adorable girl too so had a lot of fun with uh fan feud as well soft hands soft hands soft hands keep them close it's good Keep it high, I like that strategy. Keep it high, keep it high, keep it high. Keep it high. This is working very well. This is good, he's saving the red, the blue. We should have some pillows down here. He falls off, he turns it off, and then he can jump. Alright, oh, this is good. This is really good. Do you remember the circus? <laughs> you beat her to the punch, but she beat you to the answer. 
<laughs> that that's important in this case. She says carrots, and I'm inclined to go ahead and give it to her. You, any objections over there? JT said, yeah. It, what, tell me again, Eva, what's your answer? A carrot. A carrot. <laughs> Show me carrots. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have already won this round, if I'm correct. Either one works. Either one. Okay, you got it. What do you think? Potatoes. What is it? Potatoes. What do you mean? Potatoes. Show me potatoes. Potatoes. We got a winner, ladies and gentlemen. What we missed there, number seven is. And uh, that pretty much wraps up my day. I got a few uh, videos and time lapses of, of the way there that I haven't really been able to get yet. So I'm really excited to put those in the video. Uh, and I had a lot of fun doing this. But guys, I hope it makes up for It's not going to make up for it. But I tried my best to work hard in this video and make up for a whole, like a full, almost a full week without a video. I'm so sorry about that. But, you know, it was... A really tough week you know I had a lot of homework like right as soon as the second semester started I've been able to manage my time a lot better than that lately but it just didn't work out this week and I'm really sorry about that so if you're if you're still watching there's one more thing I was wondering is I was kind of wondering if my content could be made better cuz it's not about the views but it's definitely concerning that I got three views on my last video not because I'm I'm like asking for views or anything but it's in a different sense where if you aren't getting even five videos I mean it's not like concerning in the fact that I just want all the views and I want like all the attention and stuff it's not like that I'm not greedy or anything but it is, in a sense, really concerning when I only get three views on a video because it's showing that maybe you guys don't like my content very much uh, sometimes. And that is concerning. Not because I want views all over the place, but because I want you guys to be happy with my videos. So let me know in the comments, if, if you even have watched to this point, let me know in the comments if you uh, have an opinion about why that happened. Cause I've got I've got 115 views on my uh, Super Bowl predictions video, and then you, know, you see a staggering difference from that to three vi three views on my last video. Uh, I might not do story time, another segment of that. I thought it would be fun, but you guys must not have liked it. Uh, if you didn't even click on it, you must not have liked the idea. But just let me know in the comments what your opinion about that whole thing is. But. Even so, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, it was a lot of fun going to Twins Fest, uh, and it was a lot of fun seeing Michael Kadair for the first time coming back to the Twins. So, anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the flip side.